Hi, I'm Nancy Lawson. I'm the Humane Gardener. I got up early today because I was lying in bed worrying about all the violets that are going to be murdered today in people's lawns by lawnmowers. Um, many homeowners in communities around the country are going to come outside and mow their lawns, try to keep up with the neighbors, and unintentionally kill these gorgeous native plants. Violets are wonderful for wildlife. Bees, butterflies, birds, rabbits, deer, they all eat parts of the violet. And they're great for gardeners because they'll help you make this beautiful native ground cover that outcompetes um, invasive plants like mock strawberry. I'm going to show you how to save the violets, how to look for them, how to move them into your garden. This is an area that was entirely Japanese silk grass and little turf grasses, or so I thought. And it used to just get mowed. And then last year I saw all these eastern woodland sedges and violets volunteering among the Japanese silk grass. So I started pulling the Japanese silk grass around the violets. And then as I was doing that, this is what happened. So this is an area that was entirely um, mock strawberry a couple of years ago. I started pulling it and then I started noticing, wow, there's some violets in here. If I just keep pulling around the violets and moving more violets into this space, maybe I can have a whole ground cover under this bee balm and this wild senna and all these other wildflowers I have in here. Maybe I can have a whole ground cover of violets. And so this is exactly what happened over the course of just a couple of years. Uh, you can see where a lot of violets just keep reseeding and there's like little violet babies everywhere. Um, and so what I'm going to do today is go further into this patch. This is sort of like my bird blind. I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is an amazing place for birds. There's a trumpet creeper going up that old swing frame. And there's all sorts of areas in here for them to forage and feel comfortable taking shelter in there. Um, so here are violets in the lawn. And it's not really a lawn. Nothing at my house is a lawn. This is where I started to dig up violets this morning. I'll show you um, what I'm doing with that. This is just an area I'm going to put a wood chip path in today. And those are some old quince bushes. It leads back to uh, my sassafras grove back there. And I don't want to mow ever, so I keep making paths and gardens around the paths. Uh, but I also don't want to put my path over these violets. I don't want to kill these violets. So what am I going to do? Well, I am just going to move as many of these violets as I can. Um, and it's very easy to do. You just dig right into this area and you're going to find if you look around your lawn uh, or other little areas, just let an area go natural for a while. Just little patches at a time. You're probably going to get some violets coming in there. You're probably going to have them in paths. If you have any natural type paths, you might get them in cracks in the sidewalk. 
And so I'm just gonna separate these violets out from the grass and um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna move this violet over to the spot by the swing. Okay, so here I'm still separating. It's, and just you can just do it real carefully. Pull the grasses around it so that you just have the violet roots, and then toss the grass. <laughs> um, and then now I'm just gonna. This is an area um, around my little chair. I have my phone on the chair um, where I put newspaper last year probably to smother silk grass or something like that. And now, as you can see, <laughs> there's a mock strawberry. So I need to get some real ground cover in here. The mulch isn't gonna work forever. Um, and I don't want it to. I want some live plants to be green mulch instead. So there's my violet. I'm just gonna water it. I put another one over here earlier. Uh, and just keep pulling these mock strawberries. And that's it. Uh, and now I have plants for, um, as you can see over here, <laughs> a rabbit came by and ate this violet already. Uh, but there's so many more. There's so many more violets in here. So during this time when we can't really go to the nursery as much, um, and we might be able to get plants delivered, thank God there are some nurseries that are open that are helping with that. But really we should be looking in our yards Really, we should be looking in our yards as much as possible anyway for what we already have because there's lots of native plants coming up. There's lots of animals already relying on them. Just get to know them. Start to figure out what they are. There's an iNaturalist app that's wonderful. You can take pictures of plants you don't know and load it up and you'll get some recommendations for what those plants might be. You can always send them to me, but um, you know, I only know so much, I only have so much time in the day. So there are other tools you can use and I'll be talking about that later in more videos. Thanks for watching and save the violets.